This is your nervous system. The ancient inner empire working, working, working to turn your body's pain into your life's potential. But ever since the death of God, everyone's nerves have been locked up inside, grinding themselves down. Anxiety, depression, big meaning, path regret. The humanistas proclaimed our era the great anomic crisis. That is, until Zim invented the Wavyverse. We hotwired the brain and opened the gates for everyone's inner empire to come online. Nerves out. But look, our immeasurable founder, Uncle Z, takes mental health very seriously. That's why for years he's invested in top neural engineer, Dr. James Moon Weed Wong, to develop Bob's AI spirit stream directly into your brain. Need a co-pilot for life's to-dos? Task Bob. Need a co-signer for life's bets? Affirmation Bob. Okay, you can't just fix everyone's existential crisis with a bob. But yeah. what if we could? The good news? For 10 years, Wong's been perfecting his big idea, a destiny bob rumored to guarantee anybody a satisfying life path, one that could contract with you at birth. The bad news? Wong's not sharing until he gets this one perfect. No launch date, no demos, nothing. In the meantime, Uncle Z's turned Zim into a wavecast media empire. He's gone on seven vision quests. He's even named Ava our new chairman mother to keep Zim on its best behavior. Ugh. And here we all are, still waiting, 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 waiting on Wong. <gasps> oh, Uncle Z. Okay, so he ripped the band-aid. Isn't that what CEOs are supposed to do? Chairman Ava, members of the board, today the anomic crisis gets its answer, Zim's answer. Introducing Zim's first unofficial Destiny Bob graduate, the Orlando study. This is it, my Bob. You've delivered me to my destiny. End contract. I mean, terminate. Terminate contract. Thank you. My Bob, confirm. Congratulations on your arrival, Orlando. You are the first unofficial graduate of Zim's Destiny Bob pilot program. <laughs> you have the full attention of Zim's founder and CEO. Orlando, study. Careful now. Z I'm here. Z, my Bob left me with nothing but this metal. Separation from a destiny, Bob, can be a shock at first. Stop draining, you fuck snake. I know you're in there. Is this feeling part of the study? Is this Zim's design? Wong's? Who am I supposed to be now? Answer me! Orlando. Hey. Whew. Whew. Just feel alive to this moment. Zah. This is your second act. You're no longer a birth ID. You're defined by a history of action now. Oh my God! I don't know why. This is Bob. Huh? Help him. Huh? Interesting. Well, well, humanistas. Guess that settles it. Destiny Bob's ain't the anomic cure we hoped for. Wait, what? Ava's gonna hang. Is that Zim does not endorse this response. He wants us to see this. He wants us to know something. Zim's tech is great. He loves Shame on Zim. Shame on Zim. Shame on Zim. Discontinue recording. You are trespassing on Zim airspace. The humanistas aren't forgiving Zim for this one. Sorry's not enough. And Chairman Ava, if it weren't for Zim, these ungrateful humanistas would still be. They're out for blood this time. And Zim needs to offer them a skull. Z takes the blame, but Wong deserves the shame. Z's trouble, but he's prime path trouble. The Wongs are a subplot. It's a no-brainer. Dumps the chalice study. No one likes my imaginary friend, so no one likes me. It's okay to feel that way. I'm not imaginary, though. 
Shut up, humanista. Don't talk to me like I am one of you. Did you hear father say that? Hmm, very interesting. I'll reconsider the probability of its effects on my long-term alignment of everything. Is that supposed to be me? This is you. I am a bob. Let me cook a perfect egg. Okay, let's slow down. Give me one cycle of adult chalice. Start again. Hmm. I'm Chalice Wong, 10 years old, ready to plan my path for the new year. For exactly one cycle. Thank you. We're aligned. Zoroaster in that Learn. Let me look. Go eat for me. <laughs> I like renaming yourself. That's not for you yet. Let's pick some more. What about dating by doing? That's not for you yet either. You're 10. <sighs> what then? Math. Math is good. Is the Orlando stun yours, dude? You're a Zim sorcerer. Him enter a box. Shame on you. I'm Sister not world hand filled irrelevant dead no world thoughts on my life Master work. Hey, I got orbital self neo protein for my super girl. Thanks, Dad. Ava, slow down. No, Z issued. No, Z inaccurate. What? I want to preview renaming yourself. Can't you just do the math one for me? Yes, I can. But how about fractonal music? <sighs> Go deal with that. Chalice, um. The great. Mm. Cyber Wong. Mm. Susan. <laughs> Chalice the Witch. We're moving. What do you think of Chalice the Witch? It's a subplot to your prime path. Naming is rather advanced. Father is having a very bad day. Did you know fractonal music can rewire muscle memory? <sighs> if you already know what I should do, then why ask me? I'm simply presenting the highest probability of path alignment. Father needs you. Dad, what do you think of Chalice the Witch? What? No. What are you talking about? Z. He's trying to pin something on me. You're a legacy character, Dad. <laughs> uh, Chalice, listen. Zim's called us in. Chairman Ava herself is requesting that you break contract with Bob. Break contract? Terminate Bob. They're scared. But don't worry. Wongs don't blink. No, Bob. listen. Renaming is a full year's course. Let's continue path planning. <clears throat> what would it look like if we break contract? Hmm. Let's merge. I see. I should complete the math module and reconcile our life logs. I could factor in a year of therapeutics or a new spot. Bob, stop thinking ahead. Just show me what you see. Um, so I'd just be a normal, dumb humanista without you? Worrying about normal, dumb humanista problems? No, far worse. At our age, the Delta Drop would be an anomic catastrophe. Chalice would not survive. We're here. Welcome to Zim Retreat. The board will gather shortly. Happy New Year's Eve, Dr. Bob. You can't make me. Sacrifice. Chairman Ava Z. Bob's mind, my brain, my life. Anomics. Chalice. Break my brain before I Anomics break contract. Anomics audit, December 31st. Tell me your name. We'll run away. If I promise you can keep Bob, can you tell me your name? 
Chalice, the post-human cyborg super weapon brain witch. Page? Ten. What does Bob do for you? Help me arrive at my destiny, but later, not now. Good. Yes. What happens if something gets in the way? Bob fixes it. Good. And what about life after Bob? What happens then? Mm, I'm allowed to die? I don't know. Maybe a humanista assassinates me. <gasps> Ava, oh. ignore that. We've always loved your work, Doctor. But this sounds like another one-act play. German Ava, wait. Jealous is not Orlando. Z was toying with him for- We're dealing with Z. Experiments are allowed to fail, James. I need you to deal with your daughter. <sighs> That's ten years. Born with a bob. You're evaluating her under stress. That's life. Oh, lady, do you have scoliosis? Destiny Bob is work that takes a generation to make a generation. Only a parent can understand that kind of time. Z doesn't get that. The humanists don't get that. Not yet. But she can show them. Have her decontract Bob. Or would you prefer engineering to help? <laughs> Bob, do something. Miss Ava, which vertebrae hurts? Is it your C7? Huh. I help father with his spine. What do you think is the worst that could happen to me? You harm yourself one day. Why would I do that? Because your Bob promises to guide you to your destiny. But even if it arrives, there's no telling you will recognize or accept the person you've become. If you don't like her, you might do something. Failure to self-actualize is the leading cause of death. Father says that's a natural law. Indeed. And Zim cannot be responsible for aiding that law. Mm. My destiny is to use my Bob-born advantage to become a symbol of the new era. I will dedicate my life to wave-casting my unique experiences. Uh, I will? For that, I will endure much hate. My teenage years will be trying. Relationships will be ugly. I will learn betrayal. I will grow distant from father. He will be hurt. But this will ensure his parental influence dies during my critical turn years. Along the way, I will frequently merge with my classic half to ensure we recognize the person we're becoming. Classic half? I am challenged. One day, I will arrive as my own someone, forged by seven tortures. No anxiety, no want of do-overs, no parts left at home. A timeline others want to live in. Credit to the partnership of Zim and Dr. Wong. That's my life, Bob? Ugh. A pretty picture. But what then? Then, I give myself a permission. Freedom to forgive what I want. This is a long path, little lady. Some flowers flourish in the shade. 18 to 20 years to be scientific. Dr. Wong. Can you show the board this, your... My perfect girl. Absolutely. Dad, can we go now? Tallest tree catch all the wind! <laughs> Humanistas, Z. mad at Zim again. Hmm, what's new? They believe all lives are equal. Ugh, wrong. Only children have total divine potential. Beyond that, the game of life is on. And there's no shortage of losers choking on their life script. Dad. Daddy what says, is this? sweetheart, I give you the gifts you need, never the ones you wish for. You go script a life where wishes never come true if you dare speak them. Mommy says, my darling, achieve till you die. <laughs> then you go script a life where the goalpost always moves and you're never allowed to arrive. That is parental programming. Nice start. Mix in a twist of reality's guaranteed chaos, add a pinch of aging, then jam it all straight with Zim's prime pathing Bob tech. Voila! We live in the economic crises. <sighs> I was jogging this morning and a bug flew in my mouth. Old world Z would have spit the choker out. No time today, little bug. You know what I did? I tasted it. <laughs> Come on. I let it surf my tongue, crawl up my roof, pray in my molar. Could I be your home, little bug? Then it hit me. This ain't a prime path thought. Mm -mm. Sorry, Bob. It's a God thought. It's a life after Bob thought. That there is Zim's problem. Duh. It's Bob's. 
Wong's Bob's, the whole product line. You gotta be Bob's can't no. conceive of anything but the path. Fine, okay, nice IP. But they retard you of your divine thoughts too? Bad deal. That's what eats good souls in the end. Just look at our two-year study. Orlando, catastrophic withdrawal. Zim has hyped Bob's like they are the cure to our anomic crises when they are, in fact, a starter kit. So the humanistas are mad at Zim? They goddamn should be! <laughs> now imagine if someone could fix all this. That's what I'm doing tonight. It's called 1,000 Lives. A cure for the deep trouble of living in time. So eyes wide open, oh senior board of worry. In the next 10 minutes, you'll meet our first trial candidates out the other side with soul fire in their eyes. Tonight, we're turning Zim from an anomics response company into an anomics solution company. In the meantime, fireworks. No. Just no. No. This isn't a competition. Let's give Z his ten. I gave you yours. A thousand lives? Who needs a thousand of those? It's not uninteresting, James. She can do more. Dad. Dad, I want to go now. My perfect girl. Bob. Bob. Sing. I swear, Bob, don't. She's really good. <laughs> Wonderful. Isn't she? Psst, little god. I got something for you. Eat it while it's fresh. Fresh. I'm fresh. 1,000 lives invite. My design. You like? Come on. Let them eat fireworks. Oh. Jealous. What was... What are you doing? I don't do perfect study. You do. Permission to draw me perfect. German Ava, what the hell was that? A pill? I don't know. You know they're just neural address pointers. Chalice, you're fine, yes? I'm betting on your perfect girl to integrate life's uncertainties. Uh-huh. Shit. How about another song to start the year, hmm? Should old acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should old acquaintance be forgot and Welcome to my timeline, little god. Come here. Feels better than it looks. <laughs> Did you park your Bob? Dad says you're the ruthless CEO who abuses Bobs and tortures lizards. <laughs> That's old world Z. Intense guy. <laughs> Me and Wong have diverged over the years. I do god work now. What's bugging you? Air it. Bob wants to do everything for me. So let it. It's only everything on your prime path, not everything, everything. Ah. Then what's left for me? The pointless uh, path? Uh, pointless. <laughs> yes. Woo! Want to know a secret? I barely run my own company. I got an Ava to do that. You got a Bob to do yours. Know what that means? Us gods are free to do the pointless paths. I call them subplots. <sighs> That's the god work. Whoa! <laughs> Candidates! Welcome. Welcome. Me ex Mother Nature. Smooth collab. Huh? Uncle Z, uh, what is this? Wendy, my booger gem. One hit. Okay, two. 
what if I told you you could relive the life of Zoroaster? Not just the heroic prime path, all of it. A thousand different ways. All of it? <laughs> what are you hiding? Nada. That me? I don't need it to be mine anymore. I submit it all to the study of the spirit. You? So, 1,000 lives is just you? Old world, Z. Every thought, fantasy, idea, plan, memory, secret, every neural wave recorded in me since birth. <laughs> Those demo bobs there? They've been analyzing my life log for weeks, each one filtering for a different subplot. Subplot? Mm-hmm. Think of all the little troubles that gripped you at every age. You survived them, but you didn't have enough info or ability to act on them then. They took a back seat to your prime path, lost in your body, buried in the logs. Boo! Those little uh. subplots are reborn yous waiting to come alive again. If only you could surface their story, you'd be rich with lives to walk. Voila! Now you can. Uh... What are you experiencing now? Mm, baby me, choking on a bone, a lamb bone. Huh? How did that get there? <laughs> I'm smacking my back. Ah, not working, not working. Can't, uh, can't breathe. She's mimes hacking. <laughs> I copy. It's out. Oh, I survived. I'm on Mars now. You're there, Alan. Shuttle just exploded. Oh, shit. Ah, can't breathe. Can't breathe. Choking again. Alan's, Alan's hacking up Martian sand. <laughs> I copy. Weird. I'm good now. I rally the solar knots. I'm an old man now. <laughs> ew. Ew, 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 ew. Nice projection, Bob. I'm wave casting a gag class to kids. One little god goes. <laughs> this isn't for me. <gasps> Z, wouldn't this be better if it was a person's own life, not yours? I miss the old kid. A true kid. titan. Of My design works on anybody's uh, life log, but you gotta be willing to submit it all first. For tonight. Trust that my life sample is mind-blowing, cause it is. Uh. <laughs> Ready, little god? Uncle Z, let's try this again, when this can be about our own lives. Chalice doesn't want to be this more weird little episode. Uncle Chalice! <laughs>
housekeeping. <laughs> Sorry, little god. This is the best I could do. <laughs> Did you miss me? Huh? <gasps> See, this is amazing. Ah, you like? Drone tech now. Show A+. Plus. My Gen 6 Raptor Lounger ain't bad either. <laughs> ah! <laughs> See, which subplot is this? Zuh, a subplot ten years in the making. <laughs> Wong wrecked my demo, Ava pushed me out, Orlando steady, blah. Weird they kept the company name without me, no? Hmm. Ava never has new ideas. Eh. I mean, what I is this? <laughs> See? Where's Bob? Where's Dad? <laughs> Ten years bad wall. Just, just get a feel for my figure. I'll guide you. Okay, my turtle security overreacted, but Wong shouldn't have met him. This is your demo? Do something. Chalice, look, we can sit around assigning blame, but the only way you're gonna get back to your life is to get back to your body. And to do that, you're gonna have to break your Bob contract. Out there. for yourself. They're finally launching this cursed Destiny Bob thing tomorrow. Guess I'm the only one who cares what you think. Just do us both a favor. Tell them I know what you did and I forgive you. I know, but this is our double destiny wedding. Mm. Do you want to maybe find your place? Ellen, you're not part of this story. I don't know what she promised you, but today you are a guest of Zim. I'm okay, Bob. We're good. Nipple. I'll snap her arm off 
and bathe in her blood. <gasps> Bob! <laughs> my body! Uh, I'll break contract! Is that you? Yes, it's me. Are you broken? <sighs> it's been so long. I was waiting for you. I was waiting for you. Why didn't you come for me? You said you'd break at any time, so... I lived every day like it was my last. For ten years? I did every module. I broke bones. I renamed myself. You should have seen when I wave cast. I wasn't there, Bob! Just, hey, wait, what did you rename me? China or Chow. I hate that name! That's when the wave cast really took off. People thought it was a healthy break from father study. China, you don't have to answer to this terror. <laughs> Just tell me something good about my life. On our 16th birthday, a humanista broke into the apartment, ready to kill. She screamed, where is the destiny demon? Instead, she encountered me and fell in love. It was then that I knew I'd become a person defined by my own actions, not my Bob-born origin. We had arrived. What? What? Yes. Our father was so proud. He was ready to declare the cellist study complete. Yuck. It doesn't count if I wasn't there, Bob. I was supposed to do that part. Yes. I knew you'd want to return to a path with something ahead of you to complete, so I undid the winnings and set about restaging a new version of the chalice study. Undid? Bob, you were supposed to do my life better than me, not weirder. I disconnected all my relationships, recasted everyone, developed new tastes, changed my name again, remarried. Father was upset at first, but he was impressed how quickly I restaged everything. Then I did it again. How many times have I been married? Three. <gasps> Today I was aiming at five. <gasps> I'm experimenting with parallel paths. China! Alan, don't! She Alan. doesn't need you. Disabling tongue nerve. <laughs> Achieving one path is really no trouble. A bit boring, even. With parallel paths, I could appreciate the little things. <laughs> Bob, I don't like this! I could keep going. Would you like no, that? Tell no. me where you want to go now. I don't like I've this. learned I can do 90% of classic human life for you. 9% could use your preferential input. 1% of the pivotal moments like this. Tell me. I don't want that. I can do it. Listening. I like doing Listening. it. Being a body. It's Stop. all ours whenever you want. Turning contact! Confirm! So Congratulations on your arrival, child. Please. I got reissued a Destiny Bob or disease or You don't have to marry him. We started dating, study to study, the bridge the but then we we'll split. You see him on I'm so proud of you. I said, no way. way. You called a proposal. Can you hear me? A double Destiny wedding. I, I said, said, I, I do. Orlando. Who's this lady? Pop. Don't call me this one. is not my ocean. Hmm. You said one day you'd not be you. And I vowed out. Then me neither. Oh, no. Terminate contract. No, no, no. Confirm. No! Uh -huh. 
There's still one client. Dr. Wall. Now it's my chair. You owe me for this one. Do not go in like that. Ava still, still prefers, prefers to vocalize. vocalize. She's scared. Ignore her. Welcome, Welcome home. home. Do you remember my desk there? Chet Bob kicked me out years ago. What a mess. I knew this day would come. We don't have much time. Get out of my head. What is wrong with my body? Just give me Bob's life logs. No. Your agent paralysis is too severe. Ten years without integration, it would break your brain. This patch, I've been composing it for you. No false memories, all things Bob did for you. Best things, filtered and sequenced so you can put your life back in some order. Chalice, are you listening? How could you let this happen? After the New Year's incident, I needed the part of both of us that could see this through. I was afraid of messing up. So you'd rather be a ruthless programmer than my dad? Parenting is programming. Please, don't talk like a humanista. The world needed my work. My work is you. I was what you needed me to be. I needed a parent. That's why I gave you Bob. Hmm. <clears throat> How long would you have left me in there? After today's launch, Ava and I, we would have brought you back. <sighs> okay. Okay. You're a Supergirl silk reduction. During the long typhoon, the only neoprotein we had for 53 cycles. Uh, uh. Tastes awful. <laughs> uh. Alert regulation. Her psych stats are aligned. Yes, lovely. Send the last logs. Lock it in. Live in ten. You, wavy lady, are the first graduate of Zim's Destiny Bob pilot program. <laughs> Let's give her some space before the launch. Check out China's neurografting job. Whoa! You're nothing now. But hey, no more attachments when you're nothing, right? Hey! Hey, that's my stuff! That's my stuff! Ugh, oh, make up your mind. <laughs> well, okay.
did every module. I broke bones, I renamed myself. I'm experimenting with parallel paths. I call them subplots. <laughs> if only you could service their story. What am I paying you boys over time for? Move it. You too, wavy lady. You'd be rich with lives to walk. Zim presents Destiny Bob. Happy New Year, sisters. Today is a very special day. I'm thrilled to announce the Chalice Study has graduated from Zim's Destiny Bob pilot program, exceeding all clinical research expectations across all anomic metrics. She arrives today, Chalice Wong, an adult of immense character. As we speak, Zim is finalizing specs on Destiny Bob with regulation approval secured. We begin our pre-sale of the cognitive asset today. Joining me is the legendary Dr. James Moonweed Wong, inventor of the Affirmation Bob and Task Bob, steward of the Chalice Study, and now, officially today, the inventor of the Destiny Bob, 20 years in the making. Dr. Wong, please introduce us to our graduate. <coughs> Anomics audit January 1st. Tell me your name. Chalice Wong. Age? 20. Tell us about the tortures on your path. I was born with a Bob. Bob, wait, we discovered wave casting was something I liked. People hated us even more, but they couldn't look away. A humanista fanatic tried to assassinate Bob, but then fell in love with me. Orlando too, but that didn't work out. Uh, too much in common. Now, here I am. If I could magically return Bob to you, would you accept? No, not from you. <laughs> Any suicidal thoughts? Zero. Good. Any regrets? I wish I integrated more often with Bob over the years. What are you looking forward to? Selling my memoir. What's the title? The Chalice Study. Good. End Anomics Audit, January 1st. Response. Sister San, will the sister world commit to its pledge of 300,000 enterprise installations of Destiny Ball? What? I invite you for a closer look. Sister San, emissary of the Sister World Hive Mega Network. 300,000 spines. Chalice Wong, would you recommend a Destiny Bob to prepare a person for a good life? I recommend being born with one. So it feels like it's always been a part of you. And if it were applied midway to a life, like the Orlando study? It would feel like a demon who does your life better than you. <laughs> Wait, if I may restate your question. Ah, interesting. Yes, we can imagine skipping over the tedious parts of growing up. Could free a person to be a more active node in the sister network. That's not what Bob's designed to do. We know you've been away, Chalice. Bear my drone. Didn't that trouble you? It's all me in the end. Yeah. Hmm. Chalice, you've completed your destiny and officially arrived. What now? <laughs> A beautiful question. What now? Mm -hmm. I want to step on more bugs mm -hmm. and, and loan my feet sensations to the feetless. Mm -hmm. And, and then, then I want to drop burning waves into my leg to, to know what, mm -hmm. what the solar knots must have felt. I was thinking about reconnecting with some of Bob's troubles. I had dogs and an ex vitro that are a problem. I should include them in the memoir. And Alan, is that his name? Yeah, yeah. I've given Reed right access of my left arm to the Peace Patrol and right hand access to the Empathics Bounty League. Maybe they can track down my classic mom. I should sort out those subscriptions. I mean, they're profitable. I'm thinking about changing my name again. Mm -hmm. 
I have a new Wavecast idea. I want to refactor a thousand lives, but only for people who volunteer their life love. Ooh, and I found this turtle. I haven't thought of a name yet. Mm. <laughs> Last offer, Sister Sun. Aha. Uh -huh. Dr. Wong, you fail so deeply at your life's work. <clears throat> 100,000 Enterprise installations? Mm. Hmm. Yes. Sister the world can suffer learning more about Destiny, Bob. Lovely. No, 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 no. The world keeps turning. The world oh, is gone. Girl. Destiny, Bob, is not for you. James, he's not in sales. Lock it in. Bob would break your brain. No! <laughs> 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 Cannot help you, Wongs, when you shit where you eat. <laughs> if the chalice study is done, does that mean I'm done being your daughter? Hmm. Okay, Bob's filter for dog bites on the next. I have a feeling about dog bites. Hmm. One day, I will arrive as my own someone, forged by seven tortures, no want of do-overs, no parts left at home. A world others want to live in. Welcome to a thousand plots, candidates. Let's look at each of your prime paths and get that out of the way.